this for you. We will take out that Speaker of the Heavens for you. Okay, we're gonna create a, uh, and he's out of there. See that? You just gotta overwhelm him with evil. And it's just. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. Uh, I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And I am back in the saddle, uh, back behind the controls, shuffling decks and breaking necks once again. Had a brief vacation, but man, I did not forget about you. I hope you didn't forget about me either. To all the new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for joining the villains. And to all the old subscribers, y'all the solid rock. The foundation that the castle of villainy is built on. Thank you for hanging with me there, even on my little time away. I hope you didn't miss me too much. But we're going to come in with a bang here overwhelming evil right the demogoth deck ah okay now we're talking guys the demogoth golgari witherbloom deck um we're gonna get to it tonight so modify to my other golgari decks uh except with an emphasis on the demons the golgaris the demogoth demons of course, before we get down to it, guys, uh, before we get it done, uh, I need you to do something for me if you haven't already. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button well. Because if you don't, the like and subscribe will come and get you guys. It's very serious. Join us on a stream, twitch.tv slash thatvillainj, for all the live streaming goodness every single night except when I'm on vacation. Which doesn't happen often, so don't worry about that. Check out our Discord community. We would love to have you there. Join in the discourse on Discord. And of course, we do have an Aether Hub by popular demand. All of those links will be in the description. So what do we do when we overwhelm people with evil? Well, uh, we give these giant Demogoths plenty of sacrifice fodder. And then we give them trample, so they go right over things. We're going to start with a little bit of removal, huh? Uh, early removal, very good. We don't want people to ramp with this one because it does take us a little bit to get our engine running. Uh, but once we do, we're very powerful. Eye Twitch, great sacrifice fodder, okay? Uh, because when it dies, you get to learn. It's a 1-1 flying drop. Very, very nice. Uh, and what does that take us to the sideboard? Because we do get to learn. One environmental sciences for that emergency mana. One necrotic fumes for that emergency exile. Containment breach for getting rid of those pesky artifacts or enchantments. And potentially making more pests. And then of course three pest summonings. To get all of those sweet, sweet sacrifice fodders that we need to feed to our demonic overlords. The Demogoths. Uh, one introduction to Annihilation, of course, to exile those big boys late in the game. Um, Serrated Scorpion, excellent uh, sacrifice fighter as well. A 1-2 great early blocker and a life gain and drain. Valentine, we actually get to use the backside of Valentine this time. Uh, Valentine is a good early drop, but Lisette is a good middle drop. Uh, whenever you gain life, you may pay 1. You put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature token. On each creature you control, and those creatures gain trample. Another way to get trample, and another way to get um, whenever you gain life. So when we're sacrificing things, we gain life. When we sacrifice our pests, we can have that leftover mana, get everybody trample, and 1-1 one, one counters. Uh, she is deadly. They are a deadly combo. The Witherbloom Deans. Hunt for specimens. Um, a lovely early play here. We can learn and get more specimens out. Um... We probably don't need three of them, maybe two. We're going to do some fine-tuning tonight, guys. Um, we'll see. Plum the Forbidden, of course, is the recurring um, sacrifice fodder that we can do. We can draw life and lose a card uh, and draw uh, other way around. Okay, lose a life and draw a card, not lose a card and draw a life. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can sacrifice as many creatures as you want. Um so uh and that will get you dig you deeper into the deck there rune of might 
Really an underplayed card when combination of these big creatures. 2-2 uh, two, two and trample. You get to draw a card as it hits the battlefield. Um, we want these on our big boys. And I'm going to show you the big boys in a second. The Damogos are down there. Uh, we have Dina. Um, very much so. We're going to be gaining a lot of life. We can have additional sacrifice fodder to give her more power in case we want to put Runamine on her. Um, whenever we gain life, somebody else loses that life. Uh, we can rip them out. Infuse with Vitality. A lot of times when people are killing things, they're trying to remove things. We can even use the Sacrifice trick with this, where we put Infuse with Vitality and then Sacrifice something for free. It comes back to the board immediately. It also surprises people with that Death Touch and the 2 Life Control, which of course will 2 Life will also trigger the Valentine Dean of the Vein situation. All right. Bastion of Remembrance, another gain and drain card where we put out Human Soldier for Sacrifice Fodder. Um, this will also punish them for every time that we have to sacrifice to our Damagoths. It just makes it that much more painful. Sedgemore Witch, ooh, she's a beautiful one. Oh, look at that alabaster skin and that flowing black dress. Absolute waifu for who here. 3-2 Menace. Ward, pay 3 life. It is hard to get her off the board. Uh, and whenever you cast a copy... Uh, of an instant of sorcery, create a 1-1 black and green best token. When we create pest tokens by casting sorceries or instants, like the ones in our sideboard or the ones we have here, we're going to even get even more, um, even more stuff, even more sacrifice fodder in the form of pests. And now, the stars of the show, ladies and gentlemen, the Damogoth Titan. I just love the art on these things. I just love that they're called Damogoths. Um, this is a 10-11 black-green, and it's only for four. When it attacks or blocks, sacrifice a creature. Uh, we're going to have plenty to sacrifice, okay? When this thing hits the board, it becomes a lightning rod. If people don't have any removal for this, uh, it's really bad against mono-red because mono-red is kind of used to playing removal, heavy removal on you. It is not easy for mono-red to do uh, 10 damage if they're doing black or blue maybe they can kick it back to your hand or they can direct removal it but that's why you hit with infuse of vitality it returns to the board um very very nice demo got titan there um of course it offered you power demons always do but trust me the sweeter the prize the most ruinous the price Ooh, true words never said Damogoth Woe Eater, another Damogoth. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Uh, and then you have an additional bonus if you have him out, uh, or it, I guess a demon doesn't have gender. When you sacrifice Damogoth War Eater, each opponent discards a card, you draw a card, and you gain two life, uh, which can trigger, of course, Valentine again. Um, so can be used as sacrifice fodder it's not as big as the titan but a force a seven six is still a force to be reckoned with along with the titans if you give them trample they're just going to run over everybody uh that's the idea and then of course we have dina gaining life if you're sacrificing a lot of times you're also going to have um if you have dina with bastion remembrance you're going to be gaining and draining along with serrated scorpion all the pests it all just works together uh, it all just creates some great synergies. Nine swamps, eight forests, uh, four dark board pathways. Um, that is going to come to a total of 21 mana total. Damogoths are your most expensive one, and they're only four. If we look at the technical readout of this deck here, 2.3 average. I wouldn't call it aggro. I wouldn't because it does take a while to get our stars of the show out but it is a faster type of mid-range mostly in black a little bit of green here uh 23 creatures total five instants uh six sorceries uh five enchantments with those ruins 21 lands total um we do have the ability to move on we will do some fine tuning i think i think the deck is going to need a little bit of tweaking and running because i've got it I got it about a 98.97. It's not note perfect, but I've been tweaking it for a while um, along with the other stuff that I've been doing, and it's 
almost there. It's it's almost there. Against certain decks, it absolutely rips them apart. If they have no removal and they're not ready to deal with this stuff, uh, there's just nothing they can do against these because we're going to have the sacrifice fodder to keep these guys going in every turn. Uh, the curve is pretty good. Uh, a lot of early plays, um, decent amount of two plays, three plays we start getting going, and then four, we're going to bring out the big boys. We're going to bring out the big demo goths. I love how they combine the word demon and goth in there. Y you got to love it. You got to love the writers for Wizards of the Coast. Um, the flavor writers, man, they know what they're doing. Um, absolutely. So um, let's get it started. Let's get it into some, let's just get into it, guys. Let's get into some business here. Uh, let's put the big boy on the front there. We have our lovely Golgari backs. Um, let's get to the game, right? All right, let's see if we can't make it here. All right, guys, let's see if we can't get into a good game here, guys. Uh, let's see if we can't get a nice uh, welcome back game here. Um... These Damogoths have been giving me a little bit of trouble, but, man, um, we'll still give them a shot. I still like the fact that they're Damogoths, so we'll see if we can't make them work. Pair, pair, expli, pair, expli, pair, pearl, 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 1999 mulligan. Uh, okay, that is a horrid hand. Just absolutely abysmally bad. Um... Oh my goodness. Um, let's get rid of one of those. We have two, three Sedgemore Witch. We have no early plays. Um, yeah, it's just not, not a good starting hand to look at there, guys. Not a good starting hand to look at. Uh, he did get a slow start too, but we do have four. Um, all right, let's see here. If this is m rogues, yeah, it's rogues. Wow. Okay. Uh, Sedgemore. All right. How to stay level-headed in magic um, on nights like this. Um, it's not easy, guys. Uh, it's called being tilted. When you get absolutely just wrecked by RNG and a bunch of other stuff, it is called being tilted. Your best bet is to keep cool, man. Keep cool. Um, it is. It is not easy to stay cool when you're when you're getting screwed over. When you're getting a bad run of cards. Uh, also, quit, man. Uh, take it easy. Come back. Um, so you want to open up packs. You want to put in your special codes to get packs. Um, yeah, we're getting milled here. Good. Let's see if we can beat it, though. That would really cheer me up to beat a rogue mill. That would cheer me up. This does put a smile on my face. Okay, so we do have Plum the Forbidden here. So that's what we're going to do. He might flash on us. If he flashes on us, we're going to hit it with the Plum, Plum the Forbidden. Um, so yeah, I mean, grinding is the best way. I am going to put a video about that out soon. Uh, grinding is the best way. Um, so he's going to drown in the lock. He's going to pay three. We are going to sack though. You want to pay three? So we will have plenty of stuff here. Um, he's going to get hit, sack, hit, sack, boof, 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 boof. He's got to play three life. He's going to pay the three life. Well, Bastion of Remembrance. All right. Um, yeah, grind, man. Um, basically, when you buy money, you're basically buying time. If you don't want to put in all the time to grind out cards and stuff like that, you can bypass it with money. Um, start modifying your deck. Start to find your play style that you like. Um, you know, stuff like that. Mm, just 
throwing away some decent stuff here. Wasp King. Yeah, thank you. What is up, Wasp King? Uh, welcome. Um, counter. Okay, he's going to counter that one. That would have been really nice to add that out, but he got rid of it. He got rid of those, so that's not a big deal. Um, boof, boof, boof. He's going to have to start thinking about blockers here in a second. What is up, Wasp King? Um, usually... Insects like that have queens, but I like that you're the wasp king. Um, another soaring thought thief. How original. Um, how original, ladies and gentlemen. Boof, boof. Okay. Boof, boof. Okay. Nothing too major. I will stop the hit. Um, I will take the eye twitch out and get some... Something for me here, and we're gonna lose. He's gonna lose the life, and I will be able to learn. Uh, all right, let's get some good pest summoning going. All right, and that's Damagoth Woe Eater. Very nice. Um, let's put the pressure on. He might have another counter spell. Yeah, Mystical Dispute. So yeah, he does have another counter spell. We will push the tempo here. A little bit more. Um, he is going to pay the price for hitting me out here. He is going to be down to five. Learn mechanic is okay. Learn mechanic isn't great. I don't think anything in 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 uh, in this in this set is great. Magecraft is pretty decent, but as far as great goes, that just mind blowing and earth shattering. I just don't feel it. Um, so we'll have to see here. All right. Hopefully he doesn't have another counter spell because he has had counter spells. Uh, he has had three so far. All right. It's going showing that. What else do we have that could possibly help us? Uh, he's gonna hit us for that. Yeah, it's fairly. It was fairly, fairly non-invasive set here. Um, I do like it. I think it's okay. Uh, I think it's probably going to be a lot more useful once rotation hits, but I mean, compared to Theros, Eldraine, and the rest, man, it's just it's got no it's got no teeth, man. Um, you know, let's see if he counterspells that. No, is he going to counterspell that one though? He got one left. He might have drawn on the lock left. No, he doesn't. So he's got to start. So he's in a unique position here. Um, he doesn't have enough mill power, and he's kind of screwed, because if he blocks me with two, he's going to lose life. Um, and if he blocks me with more, he's going to lose even more life. So, he does have some mill options here. Uh, see, that's hitting me again is, is, not, is not the smart move. Because um, especially if I get something that lets me sacrifice, I'm just going to sack a bunch of cards. Um... And just do them that way. All right. So that's Blood Chief Stairs. Oh, yeah. He's out of there. Let's see if he's got it. You got the counter spell? Nope. He doesn't. Rogue Mill falls flat against the pests. Okay. Uh, shaking off them uh, vacation uh, uh, willies right there, guys. Shaking off them vacation cooties. Uh, Rogue Mill beats the pests. Um, with a little bit of perseverance, we pestered him into a pleasing uh, pe uh, victory. I couldn't think of something that um, rhymed with P. I was trying to make it alliterative. Yeah, I'm ready for. I'm ready for. Um, I'm ready for rotation, man. I'm ready for them vampires and werewolves, man. I'm ready for ro Forgotten Realms. Doesn't look bad though. I think Forgotten Realms is going to be a nice palate cleanser. Um, but then we're going to head right into those beautiful, beautiful zombies and vamps. Uh, zombies, vamps, um, all that good stuff, man. Werewolves. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're starting to get some hands here. He's got Dina as the thing. He's playing white with Dina. I'm going to do that. Okay, so now we got the mana. We got the 
All right, we're back in action here, guys. We're back in action. He's pl probably playing white aggro. Um, let's see here. He might try to lock me out. Uh, no, no, he's playing white aggro. Uh, let's do that. Um, let's do that. No attacks. Um, Skyclave Apparition. Oh, he's good gaming me already. Who are you going to hit? You got to pay three life, homeboy. We're going to pay that. So we need Sacrifice Fodder. And then we're going to attack. We're going to do that tricky stuff here, guys. Return it. Pest summoning. Boof, boof, hit. Okay. Um, probably last time... Hey, what's up, Vegeta? How you doing, man? Who's he going to grab? Whoever it is is the wrong choice. Um, what is up, Vegeta? Good to see you again, man. Uh, okay, two damage. Not really going to do much to me. Um, let us put down Demogoth Titan. I mean, Woe Eater. Uh, werewolves are probably going to be double-sided. Yes, I would imagine so. Um, I would imagine that Damagos will be double-sided. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice Eye Twitch, then put down Titan, or I think we'll Pest Summon. Because um, he might have to discard a card here. Uh, yeah, what are you, you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Uh, last time they were double-sided. I don't know if they're going to bring that mechanic back. There's no real telling. Okay, so I don't think he's going to activate his... I think he's going to activate his abilities real, real anytime soon here. Um, we got to sacrifice Eye Twitch. Uh, let's bring in Environmental Sciences. Okay, we can do uh, Eye Twitch. And environmental sciences. Alright. And good black mana. I do that. Let's bring in a wool eater. He's gonna sack. Okay, no problems there. Boof. Alright. Yeah, hope, uh, hopefully I don't. I actually, honestly, man, it wouldn't be that the worst thing I hit right now. Um, but uh, so we're just getting to even here. Sacrifice Eye Twitch. Uh, we will take Necrotic Fumes. Yeah, it's actually not the worst thing because I can do this. Um, and start making pests like crazy. Um, and pushing. So it's not even the worst thing to draw mana right now. Oof, look at that. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, we can exile Heliod. I don't think he's ever going to get the whatchamacallit that he needs here. D -d 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 He's probably just going to gain two life. Mm. All right, we're going to do that. All right, what are we going to get? A mana is not not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we're going to put Damogod Titan out. Target a creature, Planeswalker, Heliod. Exile a creature we control, submit. We're going to have that extra guy there. Um, 
So hopefully we can stop drawing mana now. Uh, and we can push with Damagoth Woe Eater. Um, oof. Uh, if we block with Titan, we can sack. Um, see, he's kind of out of bullets right now, too. He's gaining a little bit of life here and there, but he's kind of in a bit of trouble. He doesn't have enough power to overwhelm those. I have no problem sacrificing Woe Eater. Um, actually, I think I'm going to. I'm going to draw the card. Okay, excellent. Excellent. That's what we needed. All right, so we're going to do Lisette, Dean of the Root. And then we're going to do Demogoth, Woe Eater. And then we're going to draw a card. And then we're going to push. Push. Okay, here we go. Yes, auto pay. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Yeah, now you got to think about slowing me down, bud. Oh, oh, it carries over. Look at that trample. Look at that trample damage. All right. So with Blood Chief's Thirst, we'll be able to get Sacrifice Fodder. Um, and with Trample... Uh, as, tr as much trample as we're doing, I don't think he's going to be able to push through with enough damage. Uh, Speaker of the Heavens is an issue, but he really needs him to block. Um, okay. Two. Alright. Um, he does two damage. What if we did that? Yeah. Yeah. Not the best move for you, bud. Okay, you're not quite there yet, but we will do this for you. We will take out that Speaker of the Heavens for you. Okay, we're going to create a... Uh, and he's out of there. See that? You just got to overwhelm them with evil. And it's just that easy. If you just overwhelm them with evil, then they lose. Boom. Okay. So, very, very good. Now we're triggering. Now we're triggering. Hey, Redhead is enjoying it, man. How's everybody else enjoying it? Um, level up. Um, GG. 600. Um, I'm saving some coins. Because I'm going to do the big pack opening soon. So, um, let's go in again, guys. Um... Yeah, when we can get the mana and get the cards we need, obviously it's a lot better than not getting the mana and the cards we need. The um, the trip was very fun, man. It was uh, it was a lovely trip to the beach. Um, I got uh, a little bit of sunburn on my back, not too much. Um, wasn't out that much, so I was kind of surprised. Um, Darkness, we've had talks about you playing shrines and ramp to Ugin, man. Uh, you're bringing it on yourself, bro. Um, all right, let's see if we can keep the, the good times rolling here. Um, but I'm glad you joined. Listen, guys, we're trying to go like crazy, man. We're trying to get 10,000 by the end of the year. We're at 2,035 right now. Can we do it? That's the real question that everybody wants to know. Um, can we get 10,000 in six, seven months? Um, we don't know. There's no saying. Uh, we're trying to blow up, man. We're trying to be the fastest growing, um, the fastest growing, uh, MTG channel. Stignox just gave one to Vernon Dave. Very cool of you, Stignox. Uh, that was very, very villainous of you. Um, and he's out of there. Shira Shiranu. Okay, so three in a row, guys. Um, right back to Diamond 3. Very, very nice. Can we get to 10,000 subs, man? Um, Vernon Day. Vernon Day let his sub lapse, man. Uh, that's not very freedom of you, uh, Vernon Dave. That won't get you, uh, that won't get you VFB status, man. Uh, but he's, he's okay, though. He's got his black skull now. Uh, he's got a long way to go to get a VIP status. I'm missing Zyme tonight, guys. I was hoping to have a little Zyme on Zyme action. A little bit of Zyme time. 
Uh, big, big crew here tonight. Blackheart Trey, how you doing? Epic Emperor Shepherd, how you doing? Epic Coyote, Carl Marx, Musketeer, Senecus the Brave, uh, Texas Honcho, Darkness, Wasp King, Vernon Dave. We have two new guys here tonight, Wasp King and That Red Head. Uh, great to see you guys. Love to see new people here. Um, and uh, yeah, man, spread the good word. Spread the. Have you heard about villainy? Has villainy been brought into your life? Um, then tell somebody who you think will benefit from knowing about villainy as well. Um, that's the real. That's the, what you can really do. Um, giving it to. Um, giving it to. Given his Stignax coming in, Wasp Pink giving it. Giving it good times here. Oh, he can get rid of Blood Chief's Thirst or Plum the Forbidden Mono Black. How many more badges can you get? I don't know, man. Um, we got 20 viewers here tonight right now. Um, Wasp King. Uh, you are sub, thanks to Stignox. We have some of the absolute most generous um, people, uh, community, that you can possibly think of. Red Hood, uh, Red Hood just subscribed. Thank you for following. I'm the I'm Dead Kitty 420. Uh, you get a sub. You get a sub. Everybody gets a sub. Um, my turn. Let's see if I can draw a land. Nope, it's an eye twitch. All right. So we are going to probably plumb the forbidden with him next turn because we are not getting the stuff that we need right now. Next. All right. Uh, thank you for following. I'm I'm the Dead Kitty. That makes me remind me of the old rock band, the late '90s metal band Kitty, um, Brackish, and Paper Doll. Great songs. Does anybody remember Kitty? Because of a mono red deck that you saw. Uh, I actually like. I'm I'm interested in Essence of Infusion here. By the way, guys. You feel like this deck could use... How could it possibly use Sanctum of All, man? Um, hell yeah, people... Love, this is why I love my subs, man. That's why I love my community, bro. They know. When I throw out some, some old-ass metal, they're going to be right with me, bro. They're going to be riding with me. No matter what crazy-ass metal band I say, they're going to be like, hell yeah, I love that. That was my jam. Um... Hell yeah. Paper Doll was them too. That wasn't Jack Off Jill, right? Oh, okay. He's just making he's just making Serrated Scorpion big as hell. Uh, he's just making him big as hell. Look at that. He just makes Serrated Scorpion just buff. Just this buff, ripped ass Serrated Scorpion that nobody can deal with. Wow. Okay. Uh, I got one of them too. Let's see. Paper Doll. Love Paper Doll. Just a Paper Doll. I dress her up. She cuts me down. Uh, fantastic metal uh, band. Plum the Forbidden. He's going to sacrifice it. Um, going to do that. more he's gonna lose some life um, I got the extra puff 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 okay so I am gonna plumb the forbidden next hopefully he does not able to do eight right now uh, Luris he is gonna bring him back probably gonna bring that scorpipede back uh, all right so we are gonna push the tempo though all right my turn All right, yeah, let's do this. Two creatures. We'll drain a little bit of life from him as we do that, too. Yeah, there we go. I also love... Um, here's, a, here's, a, here's a deep cut. Maybe you guys know it, maybe you don't. Uh, big fan of, damn, what are they called again? Dead Sarah. Whew, love me some Dead Sarah, man. 
Uh, love me some Dead Sarah. Dead Sarah was it. Dead Sarah was the jam right there. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to lose both. Um, the Weatherman by Dead Sarah. Very solid song. They kind of went underground for a little bit. They, they, People didn't really know about them. Uh, okay, so Demonic Embrace on that one. Okay, so he's going to bring in... Um, Sarah's in the chat. Are you? Is your name Sarah the Darkness? I would have never guessed uh, that um, your name was Sarah. So he's gonna bring that back. So we got really got to get some removal in here, otherwise we're in deep trouble. Um, We need necrotic fumes. Okay, we need necrotic fumes. He's at five here. Okay. <sighs> yep, yep, he got me there. Oh, man. Stig, could I have played that better? Oof, look at that. Oof, did not have anything. Um, did not have any. Very close on that one. Did, could not get that last removal. Um, I don't think I could have done that better. Uh, fear me. What is up, fear me, man? Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. If I had Ugin, I might have won. Um, it's possible. Uh, the removal is what's killing me here, guys. He had recursion. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I needed a little bit more life, but he had the right card to just, to just pop me with. Um, I needed more sacrifice. That is that is not good. We really need a better better mana spread than that. Yeah, I'll keep six, throw one of these away. Alright. So three up, one down. Um did alright though. Not too bad. My fairy godmother. Hello. Let's put down Dina. Hey Senecas. Uh thank you for coming by, man. You are actually the number three sub gifter? No, you're not. I think you just you're just a sub gifter though. Um, all right. Well, let's see what we do here. Plum the forbidden. I have nothing to sack with that plum the forbidden. I do have a Damagoth, though. Um, let's see here. Skyclave. Oof. Let's see. We might sacrifice rather than put uh, something on Skyclave. Yeah, we're definitely going to. Sacrifice one, we'll recur it twice. Uh, there's no reason that we should just turn it into a ghost. We'll get what we need. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to be a cookie cutter channel, man. That was my goal is don't be, be a little different. Um, I thank you, man. Uh, I try not to play on mana. Listen, we all know what the good cards are, man. I mean, uh, who are we bullshitting? We all know what cards are really good, and you can rearrange the same cards a bunch of different times because they're the best cards. They're the most powerful. But, I, I mean, who who really wants to do that at the end of the day? We can keep doing it, but, I mean, damn if it doesn't get boring after a while, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, so, I don't know. 
yeah, I don't like to play Yorian. I know what the OP cards are, man. People always, a lot of people leave comments, oh, you should try that. It's a really, really powerful card. Yeah, I know, man. It is a really powerful card. That's why I don't specifically play it. Uh, because it sucks that uh, it's uh, it's like that, you know. Oof. Can't play Elite Spellbinder. That's too bad. Look at that. Coming in with the big boys here. Um... Winota. Coming in with the Winota. I thought Winota was banned. That's my bad for not knowing that. That is my bad for not knowing that. I'm gonna get rid of Winota. Um... Yeah, it's time to do something different sometime. Blade Historian, that is bad, uh, especially the Flyers coming in. Um, so we will do a block on... Oh, he, he's, he's protection from double. Uh, let's do a block on... Yeah, we got a block season, and we got a block you. Uh... Gain some life. just made it oh no we didn't yeah double strike coming in yeah uh winota blade historian yeah you can't you can't do much about that guys um not much to do with winota blade historian i i don't i think winota's broken man um so i made a sour realm eater deck yes it is called hungry like the wolf i believe um it is a wolf deck uh it was the community chosen deck um, and it is out there, man. You got to look at my back catalog. My back catalog is extensive. I have a lot of variety of different decks. Um, not just the same thing over and over again. Yes, I did make two wolf decks. The most recent one was the Sarulf. Um, a new Sarulf deck. Okay. All right, man. I'll, I'll get to it, bro. If you go check my back catalog, you will find a, um, the Hungry Wolves deck. And it's a food sorrowful wolf deck. Um, I'm waiting for the werewolves, man. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you've been binging. I hope you've been leaving likes, bro. Uh, I hope you've been leaving likes. Uh, because if you don't, you know what happens if you don't leave likes, my man. Uh, I hate to tell. I hate to say it, man, and you hate to see it happen, but. You do know what happens if you don't lean light, man. Winota is clearly a commander card, through and through. Winota is for commander. Uh, it shouldn't have seen, it shouldn't have seen play in standard. It's it's specifically for commander. Um, that's why they printed it. That's why it exists. Um, you know, the, it's just the long and short of it. That's what it's that's what it's there for. Uh, is for commander. So, you know. Sarulf counters. I mean, you can... Sarulf is interesting. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not good, but it's not as busted. He's right about that. Um... He is right about that. Um, it still has some ridiculous stuff in it. Yeah, that is accurate as well. Sarov, yeah. I mean, Sarov was kind of like a mini exiler. Um, if you're going to do self sacrifice, uh, it's not bad. It 
snakeskin veils. Yeah. In this one, I might have to. Some indestructibles. I just... Um, yeah. It's a little tricky. It's a little trickier than you think. Uh, da -da -da -da, no blocks. I'll take the three. I don't really care. I got I got life to spend here. I'd rather keep it. All right, yeah. Let's do that. Um, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Let's go in. I mean, you can run protection. You can run indestructibility in... Um, you can run indestructibility in black, and you can run hexproof uh, in green. So, I mean, if you're talking about sheer protection, just the, just the word protection... Um, then certainly, Binding of the Old Gods. Who's he going to need? Sedgemore Witch? Um, play three life, please. Okay, I hope it was worth it, man. Lurus is a good card, but Lurus is another card that's just broken. I mean, it's just OP. Uh, who are we kidding? Lures is very, very, very powerful. Um, there's good cards. There's cards that work very well, but that doesn't mean that they should be in the game because they're OP and broken, you know? So it's it's hard to say that, oh, yeah, this definitely should be in the game. Like, Winota. Winota's a great card. It's also very broken, um, you know? So that's the problem is... Uh, is where do you run into that where you're saying like, yeah, Winota's great. Of course Winota's great. It's also very broken. Um, you know, oh, binding the old guys. You can get me there. Yep. You got to watch out for that binding. He's going to come in. All right. So I'm going to do that. All right. Do that. I'm going to hit him. Puff. Let's see if he's got more removal. He's got more removal. He's got me. Um, Embercleave, great card. It's very broken because it's OP. Uh, I mean, any way you want to slice it, uh, good does not mean good idea. It means that it is powerful. Um, you know, so. Yeah, there has been. I mean, with the ones that there was, there was just a huge amount of power creep. Oh, he's going to play 8 to Extinction, and he's going to get me there for 5, I think. Oh, I can block. But, I mean, god damn, that's a lot of removal, man. Uh, so let's block that. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to go down there. We can learn. Um, we can do Pest Summoning. If we do pest summoning, can we plumb the forbidden? No, we can't. Let's see if he gets the removal. Garrick's harboring a protection from black. I didn't get the removal though. Um, Okay. Hunt for specimens. Uh, pest summoning. Um, Hexproof from black. So I still can block. Um, I eat yoga pants. What is up, man? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much out of gas here, guys. 
Yeah, he removed me good. He removed me good, like... Uh, Skull Prophet. Rip, yeah. No, we ain't at six wins yet. Oh, look at that. That's 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 what you want to see. Yeah, I mean, he ripped up all my cards, man. Uh, heavy removal. Um, death Touchers. Um... Yeah, broken combos were always part of it and always part of MTG. Uh, but um, instant win buttons are our thing. It's very well said, Stignox. Let's try one more, guys. Let's see if we can't get it in. Uh, very, very solid, guys. Uh, Stignox, I'll read it. Many of us are just old school, and we uh, are used to playing more balanced play style. Broken things are always possible, which once makes Magic the Gathering fun. But instant win buttons that require no thought or setup is where they get carried away. Um true true man throat sounds a little scuffed um i am till tired from vacation but this is how i normally sound um with my rich deep heavy fried baritone all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> let me try to clear it up a little bit is this a little higher if i'm talking in a higher register i talk softly when i'm streaming too because it's late at night and I'm not trying to be a loud, screaming um, YouTuber, which there are too many of. Sultry, yes. Um, all right, let's go in here. There we go. Oof. All right. Moment of the seas. Uh, yeah, Drenath, your magistrate will help with the adventure. That is true. You will, you will get that. So, he is running. This is probably Ashiok. Uh, this slow. Oh my God, this is awful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, I should have mulliganed this, but I said, hey, I got some good early plays. I'll draw into some. Yeah, my ass draw into some. That's yeah. Sure it will. Sure it will, Jay. You think of my asshole drawing to some? Who, who am I kidding, man? I'm not drawing into nothing. Acquisitions expert. All right. Uh, you can do that. You want that one? You can discard Rune of Might. Hunt for specimens. Okay, we do get to learn here, which means we can get environmental sciences to help us with that. Um, and then we'll push the tempo. Didn't I put lands in this deck? I did. At some point, I believe um, that I did, in fact, put lands in the deck. And Extinction Event is going to hit the ones. Yep. So this is probably removal to Ashiok, I would imagine, is, is what it is. Uh, without the speed that I need to get the bleed to the seed, uh, it's just going to... We're just going to be going around in circles here, so... Yeah, black bring, bring black um bring, bring back black ramp. We need um Hey, okay, Wasp King. Thank you for coming by, bro. Uh always good to have you. Uh always good to see somebody new. Um Negate. I knew we were sitting out of counter spells waiting until long to take his turn. Uh a little bit premature for him there. Uh please come back, Wasp King. Tell your friends about my channel. Uh, if they play Magic the Gathering. Alright. We're going to do some shenanigans here. He's probably building towards something crazy. Uh, Tegrid. Oh, it's a Tegrid deck. Weird. I was not, in sp I was not expecting that. Dark Ritual, man. Dark Ritual uh, should have been it. Okay, yeah, he gets he gets that. Yeah, we're done there. Yep, we're going back down. Let's yeah. If he's if he's got the yeah, no good. Uh, let's try one more game to try to stay in um, stay in the groove here. And if not, we'll just cut it there. Uh, but let's see if we can stay in the pocket. 
Dark Ritual, man. Dark Ritual. I love Dark Ritual. I love Black Ramp. Um, <coughs> I've always said hashtag uh, bring back Black Ramp. Um, this deck just doesn't want to shuffle well, man. Look at this. Um, Gravestorm and Modern Horizons. I don't touch Modern Horizons, man. Uh, thank you. I do not touch Modern Horizons. Uh, the decks are expensive. Um, the packs, I just, I don't play paper enough. I have nothing against it. I just, it's not for me. Mm. Red, I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it, boys. He's almost mythic with a mono red, so we already know what's coming up. We already know, and he's a slow player. Yeah, we're not going to make it, folks. We are not going to make it. Fire prophecy. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hit me hard. We can learn. I, I shouldn't be pessimistic. We can learn here. I should not be pessimistic. Um, we'll take the one damage. Uh, we're gonna environmental science it up. Get that mana, and we'll we'll do the damage. All right, twenty one to nineteen. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, he's pushing the tempo here. Okay, ooh, mana, 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 mana. All right. Let's push it. Um, raid Bombardment, very good one, man. Very good one. So he's going to try to do this. Uh, resolve. Resolve. Uh, this is a raid bombardment. I haven't seen raid bombardment in many a day. What I need to do is sack that, and we need to get containment breach. Um, and then we need to block that guy. Uh, that sucks, but damn if we need to shut down that raid bombardment. All right. Um, I don't think people like it. I don't think people like it. If I can draw anything but a mana here, well, that's not it either. Let's see what he's got. We've got to plumb the forbidden here. I miss Cavalcade, man. I miss Cavalcade. Yep. Uh, 
Too fast for us, guys. We are going back down again. All right, folks, we're going to leave it there. Um, uh, had a good run tonight. Decent. I think it needs a little bit more fine tuning. I really want to make these Damogoths work. Um, of course, uh, I think that the word of the day is going to be gothic. Uh, just because it's got to be, man. I think it, it, it can't not be. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that uh, we're going to leave it there, folks. Uh, we're going to leave it there, and I think we're going to move on to something else. Um, decent deck. I, I wouldn't say amazing. I wouldn't say terrible. Decent. I think it needs work, and honestly, I think there's a better way of building it. Um, Pestilence is probably the best way. I mean, Pestilence was absolutely brutal, so um, that might be the best way with these different things here. So uh, we gave it a shot, and I think I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, though. Um so just try to go heavy demographic and uh because why not you know so until next time i've been jay villain and you've been great bye bye